We got a dissenting opinion from Rob. Oh, nice job, Josh. Oh, what does Rob say? <laughs> How many sandwiches now, oh, okay. in the ear does Rob eat? Rob says, ask Austin what chicken salad is. Don't start. Oh, wait, I wait, right, wait, I, I want to know. I want to know. You're mad at me because I... Ha <laughs> Right. Wait, 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 wait. Feeling yeah. pretty chicken lazy salad. one day, yeah. all right? And I was making, I was gonna make a chicken salad, right? So, you know, you get the, the mayonnaise and the chicken, you put it in a bowl, you mix it together. And I'm not a celery guy, which isn't what you normally know put in the chicken no, salad. No, I'm so not either. Wait, so celery. it's just chicken and mayonnaise? Yeah, this, oh, the celery makes it. Is that what it is? Well, there's I mean, more, too, there's onions in it too. I no. think that's fine. I mean, dude, that yeah. is not, chi like, that is like not chicken whip, salad. It's, it's, it, if you buy Miracle Whip, it's labeled as like, Fucking salad dressing. Some shit. It's far labeled as salad dressing? Yeah, it's like salad enhancer or something. Why are we having a federal election when we could be voting on shit like that that everybody can agree <laughs> yeah. is stupid as hell? <laughs> it's labeled oh, as a salad dude. dressing. Yeah. Oh, can I have I the uh, Waldorf salad? What kind of dressing I've been would you this like? Shit for four years because I talked about it one time. I never heard the fucking. That's just chicken and mayonnaise. It makes me want but to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of, of you mixing up chicken and mayonnaise in a bowl and just eating it is so I disgusting. Adding to me. onions or celery changes the. Yeah, imagine that. It's like having, having a pizza without a sauce and being like, it's still that pizza. Is, no, it's like having pizza without avocados or. or no, uh, what are they called? Pizza so without fun. avocados, pizza. he says. No, I mean. You know, oh, hey, can I get an avocado pizza? I mean, all this. I'm from California, I bro. Without avocados? How's he doing that? <laughs> How's he doing that? He, he became it, a freaking shy like a guy. I haven't even admitted the real problem that that took it all okay. to a whole other level. I didn't. I I just ate it out of the bowl. I didn't have any bread. That's why would you need? Oh, because for chicken salad you need like a chicken chicken salad sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, that's so actually that was uh, I was operating under that assumption to begin with. So I'm yeah, not, I was gonna make it a sandwich and I realized I didn't have any bread, so I just ate it out of the bowl. All right, I mean, that's not, I mean... Oh, already. so we're fine now. Okay. Well, no, 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 we're not fine. If you had put that on a sandwich, I still would have been like, that sucks, but... Well, if you saw if I put chicken and mayonnaise on a sandwich without mixing it up, that would be a bad sandwich. Best years yes. of my life. Yes, I would say that would be a mistake. I'm fine with your chicken. Thanks, Josh. I mean, I think it's, like, weird and, that's like, kind of silly, but... That's like, fair, but, you know, at least you're not telling me I can't be a living mummy or something. Salad. Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, yeah. Watch yeah, Josh yeah, eat I, like a spaghetti sandwich one time, so. Dude, I will always eat a leftover spaghetti sandwich. You can't say that that's a not good thing. Dude, I'm serious. If I ever have like bread at dinner, I will put whatever I'm having for dinner in between two slices of bread and eat. Oh, it. do a spaghetti? Yeah, hell yeah, I'll do it with anything. It's so good when you like put a bunch of spaghetti on a piece of bread. Dude, fucking. I like, love carbs. Thanksgiving's coming up. Oh my god. Can we take turkey stuffing? Just throw that all in there. All the Europeans who are still awake, can we take England's spot in the EU? Because I think I've had <laughs> enough of this continent. <laughs> I'm ready to change my continental identity. God, we got old Ryan back so fast. <laughs> yeah, we did. You just had to bring up sandwiches. This guy. Sure. Food, man. What's your ideal dinner? Oh, I just take a, you know, a jar of spaghetti sauce, pour it on it with tortilla, and then <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, all right, right. Wreck my shit, fam. Well, this this is that's been the show today. Hey, grab grab this guy. There we go. All right, we'll take you, no problem. Just bring the maple syrup. Nope. All right, we'll just form our own continent. We'll call it real North America. <laughs> so I tried fucking Lacroix. Yeah, the other day because like I had nothing song. else in my house and my roommate had it. Uh, it's actually the worst fucking thing. I've it's ever not though. Like, it's pretty good. He took her Lacroix, tried it, and then threw it I out. I threw it away. It was that bad. I, f I felt bad. I told her after I was, I was like, I'm sorry. I, I took one of your Lacroix and I almost vomited. It it literally tastes like alcoholic water with what? one of the joy of alcohol. Maybe you had a bad one. No, no man, it was real bad. Austin's it's just... like how do we how do we ruin water? Let's make it not <laughs> sweet. Let's make it like just water's not sweet. sweet. I need to tell you something. You yeah, wait, that's a great point. But also, <laughs> you blew my mind, Austin, <laughs> when you were like, I'm so thirsty, there's no drinks in my house. I was like, what are you what comes out of the tap there? <laughs> yeah, it, no, could, no. <laughs> it could legitimately be gasoline. Look, tap water in Texas, people Whoa. back me up on this, is not the greatest. You don't generally want to drink it that much. You you can drink it, but does it taste Gross. bad or Damn. is it unsafe? It tastes bad. Okay. No, it's not unsafe. It, it's not unsafe. It just tastes bad. Anywhere in like North Texas, the water's gonna taste bad. 
The more north you go, the worse it tastes. You never like turned on your tap though, and like a flame shot out, right? <laughs> no. That does happen in no. the United States. But I don't want to risk it. I guess that's fair. What? What are you? So I'm so quiet. I'm just reading Chad. And it's just, uh, it's a good time. Let me ask you a question: Who's stronger, the man who needs help or the man who does not need help? Because all the helpers are into weird stuff like getting their balls stepped on. What if they want help though? Oh my but god! Now we're we're so deep in our own assholes. I don't even understand how we're gonna find our way out. Hey, That's speaking my of some people are into that. <laughs> speaking of which, Austin. <laughs> Yeah. I got a great question to ask you. You said you were going to talk about it segue? today on the show because it's <laughs> deep in his own asshole. Just to, <laughs> if I was to ask you how you feel about consuming uh, a beverage with dinner, what would, yes. your resp what would your thoughts on the subject be? I don't consume a beverage with dinner until the meal is complete. Can you explain it was a trick question, by your methodology way. here? I don't like... First off, I want to say this is not something I consciously did at one point. It was like, that's a good idea. It's just how I've always done it. Okay. But I don't like... I think the reason is I don't like mixing the taste of the <laughs> drink with the meal most of the time. And I like washing the meal down at the end with a beverage. And, I, I, and if I don't have a full beverage, then it doesn't feel complete. If I drink half of it so, during the meal and I want to wash it down, I only got like three sips left. When you go Bev... Like, big style, you go all the way in, you take a full thing of whatever it is you're drinking. Oh, yeah, no, I, I whenever I'm done, I'll usually just have a bottle or a full Coke or, like, a bottle of water I can't believe that part, you either. You drink, like, a full bottle? Yeah. You gotta well, have a full bottle. Yeah, of course. Well, wouldn't you drink a full bottle? I'm saying you, you pace it out over a while, you don't just go all the way in. No, I, like, guzzle it at the end of a meal, You, too. you like, like, chug it. Yeah, I'll be done, I'll be done with a minute hours? with that drink. Really? Yeah. That's Within so much. See, I was. I recognize that my role in this conversation is to take your semi reasonable opinion and make you look like a fascist, basically. <laughs> so, like, I'm, I'm reveling in that role as we speak right now. Of course. But you just did it to yourself. No, I mean, I understand. You drink that the part whole. Might be a weird. Like, 16 ounces of Coke in, in one minute afterwards? Maybe not a Coke. Cokes are a little slower because, you know, the carbonation, carbonation yeah. and the, the kind of burns the mouth a little bit sometimes. Right, yeah, so. I can understand that. But if it's like a bottle of tea or a bottle of water, that shit's gone in a, in a minute or two. It's so depending. weird to me because my philosophy, if I have like a bottle of a beverage, is I, I don't want to drink it all in one go because then I'm wasting the beverage. What do you mean wasting the beverage? Yeah, I, see, I feel that way too. You're, you're only getting one taste of it. That's sustained for a long period of time. You gotta prolong it out, and you gotta it's... use it with different flavors to mix it and get the most out of that possibility that you can. I'm not really looking for, but like for me, the the joy of drinking a, a beverage after a meal is the refreshment factor. I like the feel, like it, it washes down the meal. The taste isn't that important necessarily. See so now, why do you drink anything but water then? <laughs> well, well, get ready for this one. Okay, the taste does matter. I mean, I don't. Well, okay, no. Where did this rumor start? I gotta be mad about this one. <laughs> Someone People said you don't like the I taste of water. water. Yeah. I don't like the I flavor the water with crystal light. What's the Wait, you hate that? water now? You hate water? I don't like the taste of it. I flavor it. It's boring. Isn't that kind of weird? Yes. No? It's boring. It's what? boring? Why do you think there's such a flavored water market if people didn't find water boring? If water was so amazing and tasteful, how do people make it any money? You can't use that argument for everything. There's a flavored condoms industry. <laughs> Maybe people find condom <laughs> taste boring. I can't judge. You probably taste like latex more than boring. Do I you mean, find latex to be a boring flavor? Because I, I don't think it is. I think I would rather hey, taste I latex. I, have the experience. <laughs> I think I would rather taste latex than flavored latex, though. Yeah, but how do you like know that? You've never syrup. experienced. Well, I, you know, I've never experienced you know outer space either, but I know it's there. <laughs> yeah, but you don't <laughs> really have to do anything. That's true. <laughs> As long as we're making perfect similes here. <laughs> I but get it. I was also, uh, I was told, Austin, that you believe that it maybe interferes with digestion in some way. The, wait, what? That consuming a beverage during a meal uh, interferes with digestion. No, I never said that. that is but do you believe that in your heart of no. hearts? Not at all. It's not too late to think you believe it now if you want to change your mind. That is... I have no opinion on that. 
Okay. All right. Um. All right. So, what kind of foods do you guys? No, eat with I've got. <laughs> I've got a great conversation once. already. All right. You have a dead no. anecdote. Chat. Let me know that the the roasting of Austin is not yet complete. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I want to know about that because I didn't. I, uh, someone in chat like like mentioned this to me. What 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 is happening? Well, what, I know you lived in Austin, but I'm gonna tell the story from what I know. Oh, go yeah, I love what I want to hear it from your perspective. Because apparently, right. so Austin got this like with the Blue Apron stuff. So they send him all yeah. the ingredients except for one, uh, prepared and uh, chopped and stuff, and then there's a recipe, and you just put it all together with the recipe and cook it, and it's a nice, home-cooked, uh, reasonably healthy meal. But um, Austin hit a little snag in the instructions, because it yeah. said... You know what happened? Well, it said add one teaspoon of salt. A tablespoon. Oh, oh, sorry, it said one, add one tablespoon of salt. And then he okay. said to himself, what's a, what's a... Wait, no, 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 no. It said, according to Chad, this is my story now. <laughs> according to Chad, the recipe called for three teaspoons of salt. And instead uh, of adding three teaspoons, you said, I don't know what a teaspoon is. I'll just use a tablespoon. It's close enough. No, it's not. Right. This is completely inaccurate, so I'll tell my side of the story. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready for that, too. Is, is that yeah. the end of yours? Well, I mean, I guess I didn't, they didn't say any more, but I was like, the logical outcome is that it's three times saltier than it should have been, but yeah. Mm. Okay, no, what happened was it called for four tablespoons of, uh, That's a lot of, salt. That's, of wait, vinegar. Four That's tablespoons of vinegar? It, uh, well, it was it was a red... Well, here's the other issue is that they didn't send the vinegar. I, I was missing the key vinegar ingredient, uh, mm. which is Virgis Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know what that is, but apparently it's a red wine vinegar. Yep. They actually do that, like, in French. like I was gonna cook this uh, pasta one we had last night, but then uh, I, I like heated up the oven and got the saucepan all ready, and then it was like add 170 milliliters of milk, and I was like, I don't have any milk. You guys didn't put oh. any milk in here. I guess they assume that like everybody's got a little bit of milk on hand, so I can understand. Oh, that, that's but... bullshit, man. I hate that when when like you know you're trying to cook like some mac and cheese out of a box, and it's like uh, you know add milk. I don't have any milk. And then, like, I went online, not to... Put the milk in the box? Not Buy to, some milk. Not, well, it makes the sauce creamier or something, but... Then, like, not to hijack your story, <laughs> Austin, but, like, I went online and it was like... Hey, if I'm making, a, like, a creamy pasta sauce, what do I use instead of uh, milk? And then people were like, oh, it's no problem. If you don't have any milk on hand, just use a can of evaporated milk and then pour half <laughs> of it out and fill the other half with water and then yeah. put it in. So, yeah, okay, you know. No problem. Well, you should have some evaporated milk on it. Right, oh, yeah. Well, like, uh, I don't have a car. How am I supposed to get to work? There's no problem. Just take a jet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. go ahead. Anyway, uh, I, I, ha I ended up just using regular vinegar that I had in the pantry. Okay. Um, That's not so bad. Seems that, possible, so yeah. but the recipe called for four tablespoons. And here's where my issue arose um is i didn't I, I my roommate probably has them i don't know where they are but i couldn't find measuring scoops which is what i would have liked to have used mm. um to you know use four tablespoons of this vinegar you actually use measuring spoons not measuring scoops. oh I, no no i said measuring spoons and chat lost their fucking mind well, okay well, that's <laughs> scoops. that's just the regional difference thing because there are definitely measuring Okay, spoons. thanks. Well, I mean, you could just use an actual spoon. You could use the. No, this is what is where I get angry. No, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. I went. To, uh, so I was like, I guess I got to use one of my regular spoons. But you know, you open the fucking the drawer, and there's like three different sizes of spoons in there. Yeah. Okay. Right, well, that's a problem. Tablespoon? Well, the, it's a tablespoon. Of course. Which one is that? The larger. No, one. it's the, the one, one that it's, it's it's the plastic one that says one TBPS on it. Exactly. Yeah. That's my point. Is that. That's that. No one should tell me something's a tablespoon unless it says one tablespoon on it. Cause I mean, who knows? They make different spoons. You know, every manufacturer out there is making spoons to the fucking one tablespoon exact size. <laughs> no, there's gonna be some variance there. And if I'm fucking pouring in vinegar and I put too much vinegar in there, it's gonna taste bad. I mean, four cups okay. of vinegar. Or, wait, four tablespoons. Four, four cups of four vinegar. Cups. That's a liter of vinegar. of vinegar. Yeah, that's too <laughs> that's, much. <laughs> that's way too much vinegar on anything. Four yeah. tablespoons is still a lot, though. Well, I mean, depend. What, what, what did you have to add it to? Were you adding it? To oh, it was, it was, it was like couscous, a, it was like right? Some kind of blood orange sauce with oh, couscous whoa. and chicken. Yeah. Wait, it came with the blood origins too. Yeah, he, the yeah, they blood came with the blood, blood origins. origins? <laughs> the blood. 
<laughs> the game with the blood origins? Is that a Witcher 3 <laughs> DLC pack? <laughs> um, that's pretty cool. It was I, cool. I mean, the... Oh, God, that's annoying. The, um... You know, with, with salt and vinegar, they could really just put on, you know, add salt to taste. Yes, yeah, no, exactly that, That's what they correct. said for all the salt increments, is that just said, hey, put some salt in whatever you want. Fuck, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fair. But the vinegar, and it was supposed to be Verge's Rouge. Um, <laughs> yeah. Please stop saying that. <laughs> Do you think they maybe had a stake in that particular brand? Probably. Is that well, a no, brand really or is that? Yeah, that's that seems like it's, it's you know a, uh, some kind of type of vinegar or something. I don't oh. know. That's like Dijon mustard or something. Yeah, but they're I mean, trying to sell you like the French's specific. No, style well, they didn't need to fucking it? give it to me, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, did well, a poor job. Forgive me, but doesn't Virgis Rouge? I mean, Rouge basically just means red in most of the Romance languages, you right? Got it, so you like, got it, Mister. So wouldn't Virgis like following logic just mean vinegar? Wow, you must be some kind of genius. Red. I'm just saying, like, like you're just used in this <laughs> term, but it's just. It, look, I'm just it saying, virgin, that's what it's red on the paper, man. What else am I to go by? Well, I mean, it's. Just, I don't speak saying, French. <laughs> you're just saying it in another language. Well, how am I supposed to? Uh, I'm not a translator. You clearly do speak French. You were cooking. That's the cook. That's the cooking language. He's got a good point, yeah. honestly. Creme fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vichy yeah. Swag. Anyway, I fucked up the chicken, so it sucked anyway. Wait, how- how... Really? How did you fuck up the chicken? I don't know! I cooked it six minutes on each side, and it was super rubbery. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, don't follow Rob exact knows numbers what on... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't follow sure. exact numbers on cooking times. No, I mean, I cooked it-, it was, I, there's a picture of it on Twitter, you can go look. It looks fantastic, but it was rubbery as fuck. Mm. Yeah, I get accused of that a lot, too. You just gotta do the old, uh, the hand trick. You know the hand trick? <laughs> Burgess Rouge. Please enlighten me. The, the hand makes trick all the Burgess you... Rouges. <laughs> you put you know your you finger... You make a fist? Yeah, basically. Like, you, you put your finger to your, um, whatever the little meaty sack that you have under your thumb. You know, that, that little part of your <clears> palm. <throat> and, uh, and depending on the finger, uh, what? that's how, how tender... <gasps> the, uh, <gasps> Or cooked it is. Oh Jesus! You're right what there. What the fuck did you just Luke say? Luke said, "Ask Austin for his views on wine." What are your views on wine? Million times. What's your view on wine? Stupid. Tastes bad. There you go. Next uh, question. Wrong. What do you mean yeah, by that? Great one, Luke. So the yeah, you, Luke. the idea is that there's no good wine. I mean, no, it wasn't the argument we were having, but I just don't. We were talking about a million different things. Alcohol. Oh, we're talking about the whole beer thing, how beer tastes terrible. Oh, yeah. Okay, this guy ac accurately represents my feelings. He just threw the disc into the net. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I tigered. It only takes one. Yeah. Yeah, but you only drink Mike's Hard, so like... I don't... <laughs> I've had a Mike's Hard in like three years. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, that's the that. oldest meme on fucking planet Earth. <laughs> What, so last weekend meant nothing to you, Austin? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a Mike's Hard Lemonade. I think I had one once. It's a soda, basically. Yeah, yeah. it tastes good, so you're a little bitch if you drink it. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Well, yep. maybe, like, it tastes good because you have the palate of a nine-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tigered me again with that. <laughs> Mind flooded me positively. I'm terrible at this, man. I don't understand it at all. Yeah, I don't really get yep. it either. It's it's good though. When I had this conversation, chat was like, "You should bring us up on the NLSS," and I was like, "No, the first thing they're gonna do is call me a little bitch and just end the argument." They'll call you a little bitch. And I'm glad to see I was completely correct. <laughs> like, why, why doesn't everything taste like a gummy bear? Like that's. <laughs> Yeah, Mike's heart tastes like a gummy bear, not lemonade. Wait, who are you, man? <laughs> <laughs> Foul twice on this. I'm not ripping him. It's he's <laughs> he's saying wine is stupid. It's like yeah. five. He's saying I'm right. Five billion people are wrong. <laughs> and then I'm over here. Maybe you should temper your uh, opinion a Austin, little bit. Austin, have you ever had rosé? 
Rose twat? What, what is that? Rose twat? What? I don't know. Did you sound <laughs> like you said a. <laughs> Actually, uh, there's a really good Irish winery. They make a great rose. It's called uh, Rose O'Donnell. <laughs> nice. Good stuff. Yeah. Quality. Quality. Chat, stop saying wine is stupid. You, you can't drink like a $2 bottle of wine, but all, all wine's stupid. Yeah, exactly. Seriously. If you have good wine, it tastes fucking delicious. Also, I will say, though, I'm not a big white wine guy. Are you chilling it? <laughs> it's kind of a personal I, I want to do a test one day. Or I'm going to bring all you fuckers in. I'm going to buy, like, a $500 bottle of wine. <laughs> all right. I, RSVP, wine. yes, Please. already. And I'm going to put him into a glass, and I'm going to ask And No, no, the third favorite. glass has to be Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I would, I, I, this would be the greatest day of my life. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put them each. I'm not gonna tell you which is which, and you're gonna have to tell me which one's the five hundred. I can't, one, I can't do that. I, I can't do I, that. Of course the... you can't, cause it tastes the fucking same. No, no, but if you it put two bottles of wine and a Mike's Hard Lemonade, I'll tell you. I can, I can rank them right now. <laughs> <laughs> do we go back on this one? I don't remember. Fuck. Using his strength and stamina here. I nominate uh, using his strength and stamina here as the worst line in sports commentary history. <laughs> using his entire body to propel himself through the water. <laughs> for some reason, only bears echoing for me in the game, so that was like hilarious. No, 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 no. Oh, yes! you're lucky, mister. <laughs> you almost eclipsed me that why is somebody just treading <laughs> <just laughs> water? <laughs> <laughs> Using his strength nice. and stamina here. Look, people are like Austin's right. Austin is making two different points simultaneously here. One is that you can't tell the difference between good wine and shitty wine unless you've got a refined palate, or at least cheap wine and expensive wine. I agree. No, with even that. if you have a refined palate, you can't. I agree with. Well, I mean, there are, there no, are some wines okay. that are like no, actually. They did this no, 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 but it's always like a good. Cheap wine and then like an expensive wine. It's never like you know <laughs> shitty boxed wine from like the Kool Aid department of the grocery store. Yeah, it's never prison wine. I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but the idea that wine, all wine sucks, and Mike's <laughs> yeah. hard lemonade is I've better. Got, I I've disagree. got Ryan echoing, and I am like watching this <laughs> cinematic shot of the crowd, and it just sounds like Ryan's having this argument over the PA system <laughs> during the Olympics. <laughs> Listen here, you little bitch. It's like the drunk commentator. <laughs> Dude, wine is good. It's a good time. I don't care if I'm having really great wine or really the shitty wine. Started with black coffee with like no other additives to it. Okay. You That's, got a problem with black coffee? It's actually abhorrently gross. It is and not. not though. Awesome. I completely disagree. Oh, no. I, you no no no. You gotta, I feel like we take joy in uh, tasting things that are bad now. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong good with it. It's like, oh, flavor. what's the worst tasting thing we can find? That's good now. I'm no, refined. No, no. If you're taking, <laughs> you would dry... not like tahini sauce. Is my guess, honestly. It's just the bitter flavor. If you don't like bitter flavors, then you're not gonna like black coffee, really. If you're taking like freeze dried Nescafe that's two years old and drinking yeah. that black coffee, and you're burning it. it. Yeah. If you get some like freshly roasted beans and then grind that shit on the spot, it's a world of difference. Yo, but your tastes are like defined by the habits that you've had through your whole life. Like if you eat like fucking frozen pizzas every day, when you eat like a fish fillet, you're gonna be like. This sucks. It doesn't taste anything like frozen pizza. Yeah. That's not even remotely true. I just cooked Probably like true. for one of the first times a Blue Apron the other day, and I was like, holy shit, this is so worth it finally. This was way oh, better than frozen well. pizza. <laughs> All right, well, that's good. You're able to send you some coffee beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. I drink coffee every day. I just have to make sure it doesn't taste like, you well, know, where pure you essence of bitter. <laughs> 
Because bitterness is not, it's not a, to, like... You know, Austin, every... I certainly got a coffee option for you if you're not a big fan of coffee. The flavor, you know, like, there's other options. Would you like to hear more? The fucking stadium echo. Oh, it's so good. Chat is like, I saw somebody in chat, they said, anything that's an acquired taste is actually bad, but you just drink it or eat it because society tells you it's good. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> almost as dumb of an argument as saying that food poisoning doesn't exist. So we're, we're on the same fucking level, is yeah, all I'm trying to yeah. say. The no, idea that, I mean, like, oh, I guess anything that is unpleasant, even mildly, is never worth doing. <laughs> What's the point if there's any strife involved? But there's nothing unpleasant about... Uh, Ooh, that's a bad Coffee. one. I don't care what's unpleasant about it. It's delicious. What about tiramisu? You like tiramisu cake? You like coffee ice cream? Tiramisu is the best no, dessert because of all it's, time. It's just worse ice cream. I completely disagree How do we make this ice cream taste slightly worse? Don't add coffee to it. What? Now it's bitter for some reason. Awesome. I, just, I, good, man. I just don't want you to be the guy on like a TLC special in 10 years. They're like, I only eat like chicken nuggets or something. <laughs> so it's Invicta? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, don't give me eights. Come on, I want to win. God damn it. Oh, You're yeah. lucky, buddy. You're fucking lucky. Hey, that 59 was killer. Yeah, that, that, that sucks pretty bad. If you have mac and cheese your whole life, and then you give the man something in his 20s and it's not mac and cheese, he's going to think it's gross. Exactly. doesn't matter what it is. I mean, I to give myself a little bit of credit, whenever, like, I did this when I went to PAX with you guys last year. I don't, I'm, I didn't have beer or wine one time. I went, oh, this is gross. I'm never trying it again. I try it, like, every year. Every I, I always try something new. I went to, to some Nashville microbrewery, like, a year ago. You're too good to us. And <laughs> and I tried like four different beers there, and I was like, yeah, no, this is just still gross. Dude, Austin, okay, actually, I have a question. Have you ever had sangria? Uh, have you ever been so far as to be... No, I haven't. Have you ever had sangria? <laughs> I bet... You have you like ever sangria. had a crystal ball? There you go, yeah. <laughs> have you ever had a million dollars and then lost it all? Uh, have you asked him? <laughs> Wish. Is this as no, bright right. as it normally is? It yeah. does seem really bright, you're right. Sun glare today. Oh, it's the VR patch. <laughs> they, they got no, a new I shader. you would like sangria. Because it's sweet and delicious, and it has wine, but it's not a very whiny flavor. It's basically like Mike's Hard Lemonade for people who respect themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Like essentially, it's just, it's, there's this culture of the better something tastes, the bigger of a little bitch you are. No, it's, it's like the sweeter have, something no, tastes, the more of a have, bitch you are. You can't be over here <laughs> saying, "Hey, these shitty things taste good," and if you don't like them, you're a fucking pleb. But all these things that taste good, you're a bitch if you. No, drink it's both. just sweet you things. Can't have both. It's no, 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 seriously it's... just sweet things, though. <laughs> Here's the new rule. Drink whatever the fuck you want, like it, and stop trashing what other people like to drink. Yeah, right, you Austin. Trashing you trashing it until people started trashing me. You take your logic and get the fuck off this I show, didn't... my <laughs> box. I didn't trash shit, I'll just say that. Wine the closer is good. something. You know what, Mike's Hard Lemonade on a on a hot day, why not? It's lemonade with alcohol. You don't like lemonade, you don't like alcohol, Plus, get out of you, here. Plus, you gotta get a buzz on before your high school graduation ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna get a couple of cans of juice. Get loaded. <laughs> well, what was the fucking thing? Lumpy, uh, lumpy, lumpy goops. Go lumpy goops. Lumpy goops. No, lumpy dupes. Lumpy, lumpy, lumpy dupes. Yeah, yeah, dupes, dupes. Yeah. Lumpy dupes. Yeah. There you go. Knock, knock back a couple of Mike's hards after I take my dose of loopy, lumpy dupes. <laughs> 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 loopy dupes. That's loopy a good dupes. cereal, though. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, can I have a six pack of Mike's Hard uh, Black Cherry Lemonade, please? Uh, sorry, I'm gonna need to see some ID. Sorry, you're in your 20s. I can't sell this to you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, mouth. Great point. Uh, re really good. Uh, oh, no, let's no, let's never argue with each other about anything on this show. That would be good. <laughs> I'll That's give you more, Dan. Incredible. I just couldn't hear you over Austin talking about soup or something. <laughs> he is talking about soup like all the time. I dislike soup. I you like, don't it. like soup. It's, it's an a great side. method of eating. That's stupid. What do you mean? It's an inefficient way to deliver the ingredients. You got fucking. I just want the ingredients. I don't want all this if water. Everything is more food. efficient. You don't gotta chew so much. Yeah, that's like with pizza. I'm like, just put some tomatoes. You know, like on a good, a good stew. Sauce. That's a nice, happy medium. But a soup is just is too little there. But what if it's a side? Like you don't want something super filling, but you want the I'm, flavor. I'm down for a wonton soup because there's a big old couple noodles in there, you know, and that's great. But like, just like a normal like soup, tomato soup, nah. Chicken noodle remember, soup. I'd rather just eat a whole this. tomato and then a handful of salt. I'd rather have salt. like a chicken pasta <laughs> meal than a chicken noodle soup. The, you know what's an underrated ice cream flavor? Okay, let me guess. All right. Butter pecan. Ooh. I don't think that's underrated, though. So, I think how, you're going to say... It rated, you're going to say strawberry. <laughs> no, actually. Also Neopalm not underrated. Strawberry though. is top tier. Strawberry is highly underrated. I guess what? compared to of vanilla the three and flavors in Neapolitan, it's the least respected. I go right for the strawberry. Strawberry chocolate mix is so good. Look at that! Everybody in chat is like, "Strawberry sucks." If that's not the start of underrating, I don't know what is. Yeah. It always has the little chunks of real strawberry in it too, which makes it even better. Oh, that—that that is the best part, actually, when they have that. Actually, like cherry vanilla that has the chunks of cherries in there is dope. Not bad, yeah. The the dark cherry. Yeah. No, you know what I'm gonna say, and you guys probably won't agree with me. Tiger uh, tail. No. What? Panda foot. Tiger tail uh, is orange and black licorice. Oh. <laughs> I don't oh. That. That's the start of an underrating, dude. There I mean, goes. yeah, but that's fucking gross. Pumpkin that's ice good. cream's really good. Ugh. You I mean, know. It's like, <laughs> for lack of a better phrasing strawberry. here. What? When you buy strawberry ice cream, and they're like, you know what, this needs actual strawberries. Yeah. And it's like, no, I didn't buy strawberries. How about strawberry ice cream? Wait, are you arguing against you're, their yeah, being you're strawberries? Yeah, you're arguing against the, like the real 110%. Fruit? What? Because you it, want the, the strawberries happens, out? Is the strawberries freeze, and all they do is just go whoosh, and there's no taste, mm. there's no flavor. It's already strawberry flavored. I don't need more strawberry in the already it's, strawberry flavored it's ice cream. Flavor. It, it's all like, it does is it like gives chunky. a gross fucking crunch that is unnecessary. Actually, as much as I want to pull the logical extreme card, I'm kind of with you on frozen fruit in general. I just you never just bitten into some frozen fruit? I don't I like, like I don't like the texture of frozen fruit. Hold up a sec. We never heard the Rob flavor, though. Correct, correct, correct. Oh, yeah, it's uh, coffee. Oh, I'm love like, yeah, coffee. Oh, love yeah. it so coffee much. Sign me like, oh, damn favorite. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Austin's against the coffee ice cream. What's wrong with coffee? Oh, ice cream? so yeah. Can I have an ice cream that tastes bad, please? That's Thank not. You. Oh, I, I can't Wait, do you this think again. Beer and no, coffee no, no, no. taste bad. We, we can't do coffee this. Tastes this... bad until you put like seven hundred ounces of cream in it. This conversation mm. that, that, where Austin just doesn't like mm, things that coffee. taste even mildly bitter. I can't go down this road again. <laughs> We've gone down it too many times. If you get the right coffee, it's not actually that bitter. Like, Madrina is. Oh, but no, that's bad really coffee bad. then. They, they want coffee that makes them almost vomit. And then, no, then they know it's, it's good. not. I'd like bitter foods. There's different <laughs> types. Yeah, there's certain bitter bitterness right. that works. Try different types. Maybe you'll find one that you don't mind as much that isn't quite as. as no, I have coffee that I like already. I just load it with cream until I can't taste the coffee anymore. <laughs> so why don't you just drink warm just milk? Because I need caffeine! Mm, that's fair. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm just I'm not going there. I'm not going. You've already, we've already said our pieces on this enough that you like you know I disagree with you. There are coffees I very much. Beans in it. What? Espresso beans, like chocolate covered espresso beans in the coffee ice cream is actually great. That is delicious sometimes. Yes. The, the more the merrier, dude. Yeah. See, like if you, you have like... that though, that's bitter. That's a bitter flavor. Yeah, but I kind of like it anyway. No, I do too. I I enjoy, I enjoy that. It's delicious. I I thought I was being like a, a rascal when I was a little kid. Uh, well, not that little, probably like twelve. 
And my mom would be like, you can try one of those coffee beans. And I'd be like, yeah. And I'd just crunch <laughs> one of them. She said her, her dad would let her do that when she was a kid, so it was like a family tradition, I guess. Let's go. Is coffee ice cream Fuck. have any Jack, real real so amount much. of bitterness though? Yeah. I mean it's it's, it's very sweet, but it's got a little bitterness. Very sweet. Also, I'm gonna blow your mind. Are you? But I need yeah, I needed you to acquiesce first. Um okay. are you familiar with the concept of a sour beer? No, it, that's does it double negative out and actually is good? <laughs> they're they're <laughs> popping off and have been for maybe the last couple of years in North America. Uh, it's a beer. It essentially tastes like vinegar. Okay, that's oh, terrible. So that if you awful. if you thought bitter was bad, welcome to the fucking. I show. just don't I don't understand this fucking concept that like if you don't like bitter, you're just a child. Whereas like. <laughs> Literally, fucking plants in the wild evolved bitterness so fucking things wouldn't eat them. And then here people go, oh yeah, it tastes well, great. But plants in the well, wild also evolved spiciness so things No, but eat spicy them. tastes good. Spicy and people <laughs> evolved to not be bothered. Spicy by food fucked bitter. up. They were like, let's just go really hot. They won't care, but yeah. we still taste good. Right, they dude. fucked up. They made a mistake uh, with that one. To counter yeah. you on that one, Austin, like I actually, if it gets spicy enough, I taste no flavor except for the spice. Absolutely, yeah. That's what everyone does. That's why if you don't get it too spicy. spicy. And I don't enjoy that at all. And I understand that people love spice and they just enjoy that whole experience. I, dude, I agree with you. There is such a thing as too spicy. A mild level page. of spice uh, actually kind of opens up the taste buds and really? lets you taste more. Yeah. Well, excuse me? Taste what? more? I spawned well, and was murdered full. like before my legs even touched the ground. Mm. You know, like you spawn and your head comes up? I didn't get the chance. I was my head was still at like <laughs> master blaster level. What's the dude from anyway, my point It's not hypocrisy. This is why I don't want to go down good. this There's road. There's no argument again. here. <laughs> That's why I can't go down this road again. You taste different things. We have different preferences. Just life. Mm -hmm. I mean, just generally, I think as a culture, we don't do a good job of talking about things that are kind of constructed as negative feelings, but you might want some version of it in a particular way pain, frustration, confusion, uh, you know, um, depression, anger, all of those sorts of things we, we, we crack up as being just purely negative. But we're all, I think, drawn to them in certain times or certain contexts. Like even just seeing a sad movie, right? Yeah. You feel sad or you scary movie, you feel scared. Those aren't good feelings, but you can enjoy them. Yeah. Uh, and I, I kind of, Wanted, I thought that was interesting terrain for a game, I guess. That reminds me a lot of that philosophy you were always trying to convince us of, Ryan. You, you got to have a little bit of nastiness in your life to appreciate the, the good stuff, right? <laughs> so I, I genuinely believe house. that essentially like uh, people don't suffer enough and they get <laughs> so addicted to good feelings they can't ever tackle bad feelings sometimes when they happen. So I think a good dose of constructive punishment and unpleasantness can be very valuable. Mm -hmm. Isn't it interesting that we accept this implicitly with food, right? It's like we give animals uh, in, in like lab tests, we give them bitter food as a punishment. It's really clearly a punishment to have bitterness. But we definitely appreciate it as, as regular people. Right? If, if I said to you, oh, I will never eat a bit of food, you'd think, what an idiot, right? You're missing out on it. <laughs> That's surprisingly apt for our group. You know, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. so, that'll be <laughs> you guys, uh You guys say mashed potatoes with skins in or skins off kind of Get guy. that shit out of there. <laughs> I peel the mashed potato roughly. Or peel the potato roughly, I should say. So it's probably like 90% skinless, and then mm. a little bit of skin uh. remains for texture. Uh, see, I'm all in for the skins. You want like a full skin potato? Yeah. This is technically incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> it's evocative. <laughs> I was going to draw Donald Trump. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Oh, I get it. I was like, communist? Communist. I hate mashed potatoes with bits in them. Just You just strike me, me the as potatoes. the kind of guy who, well, I mean, like I'm basing this on the fact that when you eat salsa, you just dip your tortilla chip in at a 90 degree angle so no solid <laughs> matter gets on it. 
<laughs> you, you seem like you want your foods to be like pure. You like I want this food to be this and this food to be this. I just oh, or like pure with an extra e at the end. Or, or puree, perhaps. Yes. Puree. I don't. All right. I'm not trying to insult you. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm angry at the word. Okay. Because like right. when we were doing those Rainbow Six videos, and Paz on Paz said that he buys salsa and then blends it himself and puts it back in the jar. Oh my! I God. lost I, I my hate... mind. I oh. that. Really? I like Dude, chunky. I, I blend my salsa. <laughs> wow, that's. I don't, I don't like it being chunky, but it's so good. I'm just being honest with you. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Listen, I know it's ridiculous. I 100% know it's childish, but it's like one of the only childish things I really do. But like, do you buy the scoops or something? So you've got like a little soup bowl for your salsa juice? No, nah, dude, you blend it up and put it back in the same container. <laughs> oh my God. But like, how do you scoop it? It's not like, it's not as like soupy as you think it was. It's pretty, pretty thick. Like what? At that point, ah, maybe not. This is just captive audience. Never mind. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's so much more work than just changing your taste buds. <laughs> it's not about the taste. That's the thing. The taste is fine. It's the texture. The texture is just chunky. I don't like chunky. <laughs> How do you like your peanut butter? Smooth. Shut up. <laughs> I was just checking. That's good to I'm know. I'm consistent. Yeah. Like I'm like my food, but you know, I want it to be consistent. <laughs> so would soup with nothing in it, like just broth, be okay? I mean, like tomato soup, yeah, like that. That's good. All right, really? so it's a. We just uncovered the biggest information here. Yeah. It's not that you don't like soup; it's that you hate textures. He hates the textures. I, I hate think. textures. Yeah, that's actually exactly it. Dude, oh, you so know what would be perfect for you, actually? Uh, you would love this. Um, uh, baby Water. food. Oh, baby <laughs> food. <laughs> that kind of goes little... against the taste point, because babies can't taste. For little what? babies. Babies, <laughs> babies can taste. They cry about it. Good impression of a baby there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, baby food's delicious, though. What? Baby food's delicious. All right, I mean, we, unless we're talking about just, human milk. Stop. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? What's wrong with baby food? Baby food's delicious. Yeah. We're adults. Oh, how do you spell this word? I mean, it's like if you get like the apple and banana thing, it's literally like pureed apples and bananas. It's delicious. I will right. say, it. no, no, here's the deal, Austin. You either do a third person or you gotta eat a bowl of soup. <laughs> I mean, I'll, wait, you, I'll, I'll you don't like soup? soup? Oh, here we go. You gotta go to the Knapp Brothers. <laughs> but Knapp? Bill Knapps. Bill Knapps. Oh, vegetable soup. Don't make fun of the shredded carats in the soup until you have it. Yeah, give me some chunky vegetable soup. That's just a symphony in your mouth. Wait, can someone give me the TLDR on Austin's soup? Doesn't like it. I think it's a bad main dish to serve. Who eats yeah. it as a main dish, though? Uh, Lots of I don't know, like 2 billion people daily? I mean, maybe for lunch or an occasional <laughs> dinner, but you're talking an everyday dinner? I just think that it, basically my, my argument was... If you are having a dinner party and you I go, mean, I made soup, I'd be like, oh, that was a bad dinner party. But if you were like <laughs> having a dinner party and you're like, I made soup and pasta, I'd be like, this is a good one. <laughs> what what? Soup that is, is a weird com. I mean, I'll eat it. Well, what's you that get one soup, soup at Italian restaurants all the time. What's that one soup that's got like a little ravioli in it? Lasagna? I feel no, down no, the stairs. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Back to Bon. Bon me. Definitely soup that's got pasta in it. You're talking about right. uh, Italian wedding soup. Yeah, that's the one. Wait, Melf, do you say it like that because Ryan says it like that, or you say it like that because Canadians say it like that? I think it's a Canadian thing. I what, definitely what is... do things my way, and Ryan copies me. It's, it's not true. He's around. older. I yeah. couldn't have done anything first. Austin, <laughs> say P-A-S-T-A. Uh, that would be pasta. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I, I look, I'm just saying... Soup tastes good, but I just it, I don't want to drink my meal. <laughs> well, you eat it with a spoon. You drink it. Mm. <laughs> Someone said, "Hey, I made clam chowder for dinner. I'd be excited AF." Absolutely. Never had clam chowder, but all right, Dan, you got one. To... He's hit show the good place. It's a very uh, unfavorable meal that people. You got a guy right under you, Dan. Yeah. And Ryan, you got and one. And that's under not you. me. That's TV saying that. <laughs> 